as I was saying, you can be the stranger that the doctor ordered. Mm -hmm. You can be that person that lifts up another soul and tells them some things that God put on your heart to say that the Holy Spirit works in us. We're not God, but we are his workmen. He said, pray that they send laborers into the harvest. Right? You are one of his laborers and he used you. Even in the New Testament, he says, don't meditate, premeditate on what you're going to say when they deliver you to rulers and kings. But in that moment, the Holy Spirit will tell you what to say. Basically, it will speak through you. You ever talk to somebody as a man or a woman of God and they get so attentive, it's like you didn't told them there something that their soul felt. Mm. For all you, there are no new prophets. Mm. Forbid not to prophesy. That's in the New Testament. For all you believers that there are no new prophets, I'll slap the taste out of every, bad, every one of your mouths and give you some enlightenment. <laughs> I say that it's a figure of speech, people. Don't be offended by every word that you hear. But I'm for real. Mm. If the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun, why would he stop prophecy? You can prophesy over somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Not you. God. Do you? One thing I learned about being a, a Christian. There are some conversations that I had with people that I don't remember. Like once I said it and I left and did my thing, that's it. This is it's old with and done. It's like I can't even remember what I really talked about. I remember the kind of key elements, but I know that wasn't me. I know that wasn't me talking. But some put it on me to say it. Now just remember, people can be angels. The good Samaritan was doing the will of God. He was an angel to the man that fell off among thieves. And he put him in a house. I mean, in a, a hotel and fed him. Gave him wine to drink. Then he said, if, if you need anything else, I'll pay the rest. Woo! Come on, y'all. Y'all better catch these moments. You understand? Because the Holy Spirit is designed to dwell where? In us. And designed in us so we can speak as oracles of God. So for all you, I don't prophesy no more. We don't prophesy. You might not be spiritual. That's all I'm going to tell you. You still don't have discernment between spiritual things. But I'm going to tell you about one guy that talks about this. But at the same time, he don't believe that there are new prophets. But he also believed that I could get married in the eyes of the Lord and not through, a, through the system. You believe in, you can direct, encounter God and God uh, sanctify your marriage. And you're not going through the, the system which God set in place. But you said abide by the laws of the land. But but you got to think about what a lot the Bible says about a lot of things. They despise government. They hate authority. And God said He put authority in place. The shrewd, the mean, the nice, all of them. Everybody works for Him, <laughs> right? Well, but you can lean on that and go off that and then be confused. But if you're, if you're confused in that part. You also confused in the prophecy part. You understand? Do worse they deny me. Ooh, come on, y'all. Trying to wake you up to this morning. Hear what the the Lord is saying through me. I'm not God, but when I spread His word, I'm speaking for Him. Mm -hmm. Or when God tells me to tell something to you or anybody else, I'm speaking. He's speaking through me. Shall I say again? You understand? You see, every prophet is not standing up there saying new revelations. Now, new revelations are like I was watching something. I know this along this away from the store, but I pay attention to a lot of things. And a lot of people have been prophesying lately. 
The world is finna end in nine years. The world for the end in this year. This the, the, the rapture is coming. Oh. Well, I'm gonna tell you how you know they're lying. Because the Bible said the times and seasons you don't know nothing. You don't know a thing. He said he's gonna come like a thief in the night. But he said, watch. And you're gonna be okay. He ain't tell you no dates. He ain't tell you a time. He told you a, a time frame in biblical text. First of all, the uh, the one who's sitting where he ought not has not even been revealed. I don't know what these people be talking about. Now, I don't believe everybody that said they're a prophet. One thing about it is, people, I'm going to tell you something right off the bat. <laughs> and this is kind of sketchy. But I'm going to tell you a good reason to know if somebody's a prophet or not. This may not be biblical. It's just through practice. Somebody that called themselves a prophet. Somebody that calls themselves a prophet. I'm a prophet. Whew. Those are the ones you got to be careful of. Because real men and women of God don't even realize that they are prophets. <laughs> They might have prophesied on about, but they don't call, walk around. I'm a prophet of the Lord. I'm a prophetess. <laughs> Real men and women of God don't sound trumpets. I am a prophet of the Lord. No. <laughs> Do not your own before men to be seen among men, to be praised among men. You have your reward. A real prophet, you won't even know it until he appears right before you. Just being real, trying to keep, teach y'all some things, people, some things I learned over time, period. Now, this is something I wrote in one of my songs. On whatever God wants me to be. Use me, Lord. However you seem fit. If you want me to prophesy today to this person, use me. If you want me to heal today, this person. Use me. It is what it is. What you think I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me really mean? Christ do all things through me. Do you understand? It's not you that do anything. If you want to boast. It's Christ. Well, anyway, back to the subject at hand, people. Sometimes I get sidetracked. Whatever pumps up my head, that's what I got to talk about. You'll be surprised who'll be willing to tell, ready to tell you something. But again, like I said before, you got to be seeking him. You saw me know, hey, I got to, I got, I need confirmation. And the thing is, sometimes you ain't got to ask for confirmation. God to give you that too. If you are his. Expect to have many spiritual encounters that make absolutely no sense. And then when you tell other people, they'll be like, man, I don't know about that. Uh, okay. That's cool. I know what happened. Just like I know when I was younger, after my mama told me that if someone answer your voice, if someone call your name, don't answer. And I'm hearing it all the time as a youngster. And I'm just denying it. I'm fearful. That's why I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in superstition. I don't believe in... Now, you got to understand what I'm saying. Folk tales, certain different... A black cat cross your path. Put an X on your window. I don't believe in none of that. Because the Bible says, time and chance happen to us all. Right? It's not because you were lucky. You didn't wreck because a black cat crossed your path. You wrecked because it must be your time to wreck. That's all I'm saying. Good things and bad things happen to everybody alike. Not because you are unlucky. Mm -hmm. You understand? It is what it is. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Spiritual encounters work the same. It was meant for you to have a spiritual encounter. You didn't make it happen. It's got to be according to God's will. Everything that happens in your life got to be according to God's will. If you know what I'm saying, I'm just being real. 
you know, if you're being visited by, if you have a spiritual encounter, just know God has his hands on you. If you ain't having encounters with the angel of the Lord, with the Lord, in human form, in spiritual form, if you ain't having no something, you might be missing something. I'm just being real. It's a lot of people that go to church don't even have a spiritual encounters. I watched a movie years ago, and it made sense to me. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but this one woman says she had a vision, and she don't even she's not even a church going. But this when the other sister was a dedicated person in the church. Now this is a movie, but I believe it happens like this. But she was dedicated to the church, always in the church. Her sister not so much, and her sister get a visitation, a revelation. God told her to get up and go to this such and such place. She was like, God, talk to you. God has never spoken to me. You understand? But you got to remember, everybody has different purposes now. You understand? But there are people who, he said, that some of the prophets have wished to see the things that you have seen and have not. We're going to see a lot of things as men and women of God this day and age. But don't you want an angelic encounter? I know I do. I want anything spiritual encounter. To me, even knowing a demon is attacking me is a spiritual encounter. <laughs> Why is this demon attacking me? Huh? Must see something he don't like. Or something he loves. I don't know. You see, people, if you're not spirit wit of witnessing angelic and demonic attacks, you might not be having spiritual encounters. You see, I know a lot of Christians that say they don't really believe in demons. And I'm like, hey, I don't really believe in the angelic demons. So what's, what do you believe in? But I'm going to tell you something, people. When I gave my life to God, I believe in everything. Werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> Vampires, shapeshifters. I don't put nothing past God. Mm. Nothing past God. No telling. I ain't saying God created all these things, but all things work together for those that love God and call according to His purpose. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. If I run across a werewolf, I'm gonna be praying to God. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell her what kind of things you see in this world now I don't believe like I believe UFOs and, 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 and these encounters are angelic or demonic mm -hmm. to me there's only two types of spiritual entities demons and angels and God the main spiritual entity three then but other than that UFOs and something but it makes sense. He said we would be like the angels. They say every time they supposedly find a UFO or find an angelic being, it has no gender. Who? Anyway. <laughs> you see, I believe in a lot of things, people. And I think once you open your, your eyes to believe things, like a gen. And I believe in gins. I believe in it. Another form of a demon, I guess. I don't know. It's a lot of things. I believe in mermaids. I'm just saying, people. What I'm trying to tell you is, as a man or a woman of God, open yourselves up to belief. And believing in things not seen. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You see, if if your spiritual mind is dull, how can you expect to have spiritual encounters? You see, you watch a lot of movies and they, they always show how to get blessed by God. But a lot of them don't talk about spiritual encounters. You understand? I watched, the, I'm going to end with this. I watched one last movie about a, a little boy who was reading the Bible. He was seeing healing and he wanted to learn how to heal. He was compassionate about it and God started healing through him. And he always gave Jesus the credit. And he was an unknown. Let me tell y'all something, people. Real, true men, women of God who has these abilities probably don't even realize they have them and they're not broadcasting it. 
Because God said, let not your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Let's say if I, God used me to heal somebody infirmity right then. I'm not going to go on Facebook and be like, I'm a healer. I was a healer for that moment. Through God. But entertain strangers, people. Open yourselves up to the spiritual realm. Don't be afraid. Manoah was afraid. They said it was terrible countenance. Lord have mercy. Open yourselves up to the spiritual realm. A lot of y'all ain't having spiritual encounters because you don't believe in the spiritual. In reality, you know the Bible. You know what it says. You don't truly believe that Jonah got swallowed by a whale or, or large fish. You don't believe in things like that. You don't believe that Elijah had angels surrounding him. You don't believe that in the book of the prophets, one of the kings or rulers prayed and the angel said, I had to fight through troops to get to you. Mm -hmm. In heaven, that, that's a war raging in heaven, a spiritual war that you don't see. I watch a lot of anime, and one of my favorite animes is Bleach. And Bleach has forces fighting in the spiritual realm. Human beings can't see them. But all this is going on in the spiritual. Makes sense, though. And people are like, you can't be watching that demonic stuff. Maybe I'm watching something spiritual, and you just can't catch it. But entertain some angels, people. And if you haven't given your life over to Jesus Christ, I advise you to do so. And everything's going to work out to God's will in your life. God may be trying to tell you something about one of your kids or this and that. You understand? But you ain't having no spiritual encounters. You're looking at people, you're judging people over how the way they look and the way they dress and this and that. And you might be entertaining a stranger, an angel, the Lord, unaware. Give your life to Jesus today. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. And then after that, have a blessed, not stressed day. Get that peace that surpasses all understanding. Even when you do have it, a stressful day or a stressful situation, you have God on your side. Have a blessed one.